You're right at that. Yeah, that's brilliant. If you, if you put something in the ground, say that big, just like the, that leaf, they'll just eat the whole lot. Yeah, yeah. Whereas something like this, because it's quite robust, they might, they might nibble at the leaves, but they'll not take the whole plant. In fact, there's a classic one there, right at this side, look. You see how it's, they've, took a, they've took like a bite out of it and left the rest of the leaf. Whereas if that, if that plant had only been that sort of size, it, they'd have just eaten it. Eaten it all, yeah. yeah. So it just it just shows you that you know the size of the plant yeah. makes it more robust. So, so there's obviously lots and lots of different ways of protecting your plants from slugs and snails. Um, there's old favourites like using broken eggshells. You do have to break the egg up quite quite small. The idea is that the, the slugs don't like crawling over the the broken eggs because the egg sticks to them, and it's just they just don't like it. It's uh, not a nice sensation for them. So it, that actually deters them. It doesn't kill them. It just sends them elsewhere. So this is our Feed and Fortify product. It's all organic and it, there's a feed in there as well. So you're not just protecting your plant from um, slugs and snails. You're actually feeding the plant as well. Um, so what I have done is I've created a little sprinkler. So it's just a old jam jar. Taking the top off. Popped it on a bit of wood, knocked some holes in it, so you've made your own homemade sprinkler. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop some Feed and Fortify in there. It's just more economical than pouring it out of the packet because you've got more control. So um, pop the lid back on. And all I'm going to do is put a, a reasonably generous helping all the way around the plant. And what that does is, it's very uncomfortable for the slugs and snails to crawl across and it actually turns them away. Again, as I say, it's all organic, so you're not harming anything. Um, the product's not gonna harm anything at all, but it, it will feed your plant at the same time. The reason I'm showing all these is because what I would do as a gardener, rather than using one particular method, I'd use as many methods as I can. You put a lot of time and effort into growing your plants, you care and tend for them. So the more uh, defences you can use, the better. Uh, another little tip as well is, you can make a, what's called a beer trap. And that is just with a jam jar, an old tile or a piece of wood, Closed peg or a wooden peg and some beer. So all you do is, it doesn't have to be right next to the plant, the scent of the beer attracts the slugs and snails to it. So what you do is, you dig a hole, pop your jam jar in. Now you don't want your jam jar to be buried. One, because you don't want soil to fall in it, but the other reason is you don't want ground crawling beetles to fall in. Beetles actually eat slugs and snails, so you want to protect them. Um, so you've got that in the ground, yeah. Uh, just firm it. Now, just for for purposes of the camera, I'm just going to take that jar out. Normally, I'd just leave that in and top it up with beer, but just to show you how much beer I'd put in. So you want about that much. That's all you need. Because what happens is, pop that back in the, the hole. The slugs and snails smell the beer, it's the, the hops and the barley or whatever's in it, and they come and investigate, they, they crawl in, go down the side, basically get drunk and drown. So you are actually killing them this yeah. way. But uh, if you've got a real infestation, then you know sometimes you, you have to do that. And obviously, you, if you don't use all the beer, you've got the beer left for yourself. Um, but what I do use is either a peg, and just pop that on there, or a stick, and then I'll pop it that side so you can see. Because what you don't want to do is when it rains, you don't want the rain to go into your slug trap because it's gonna 
um, water the contents down. So what I do is I just pop a little peg on it and just prop it up like that. Also, it gives a bit of shade. The slugs and snails like shade, so they'll come to it anyway. Um, bit of wood does the same. Doesn't have to be a slate tile. Just enough to cover the top. Or you can use just a, a wooden, that's just an off cut or a bit of uh, twig. And, and that just stops anything going in there. The other thing as well, because you're not using slug pellets, which are dangerous to things like hedgehogs and birds, etc., when they eat the, the dead slugs and snails. If a hedgehog or a bird gets in there, it's just gonna, well, probably just gonna get tipsy, just gonna get a bit drunk, <laughs> even if it eats the, the slugs and the snails. So you're not actually harming anything other than the slugs and the snails. So that's your beer trap. Okay. Subscribe to the MV YouTube channel to be notified of regular Dave's Corner videos.